There are new revelations today in the growing scandal involving Senator John Ensign of Nevada, who has admitted having an affair with his former campaign treasurer. Today, Ensign acknowledged that his parents made payments to his mistress and her family. That, in turn, has raised new questions about the senator's political future. Here's Jonathan Carl. Last year, I had an affair. When John Ensign admitted his affair, he called it the worst thing he'd ever done. Now he's made another stunning admission, $96,000 in payments to the family of his mistress. The payments were made by the senator's parents shortly after the woman's husband found out about the affair in early 2008. To some, that sounds like hush money. Well, of course it's a problem when a U.S. senator appears to be paying off a family in order to keep his affair quiet. The $96,000 was broken up into eight $12,000 payments made by Ensign's parents to the mistress, her husband, and their two children. Capping the payments at $12,000 allowed them to avoid paying taxes. In a statement, Ensign's attorney said the payments were legal. His parents decided to make the gifts out of concern for the well-being of longtime family friends during a difficult time. The gifts are consistent with a pattern of generosity by the Ensign family to the Hamptons and others. Now Doug Hampton, the husband of Ensign's mistress, is telling his side of the story, describing Ensign as a predator who destroyed his family's life and saying the payments were justified. Well, there's you no believe question. that you need to be made financially whole because John Ensign destroyed your ability to make a living. Don't you yeah, believe that? Yeah, there's no question about that. Mr. Hampton has also gone public with a letter that Ensign wrote Mrs. Hampton shortly after he found out about the affair. I betrayed everything I believe in and lied to myself over and over, Ensign wrote. I threw all of that away over wanting to feel good. The swirl of admissions and accusations has increased pressure on Ensign and made it likely he'll face a Senate Ethics Committee investigation. Meanwhile, however, the senator has been at work and voting, something his spokesman says he intends to continue doing. Jonathan Carl, ABC News, Capitol Hill.